Welcome back into the Vandy Sports Podcast alongside Joey Dwyer. I'm Billy Derrick, and we're continuing our offensive, well, entire team, but we're sticking with the offense uh, position previews, and now we're going over to the tight ends, which I think is definitely the strongest unit on the offense, and, and it's one of the strongest units on the team. Um, obviously, you probably look at the linebacker room and maybe even the safety room as uh, being potentially stronger, but I think by the end of the season, we could be looking at this tight end room saying, man, this is a this is a strong unit uh, just because of the depth they have there. Joey, I don't even know. I mean, the top two guys, at least in my mind right now, are Cole Spence and Eli Stowers. Mm-hmm. But you've also got Cam Johnson, a guy that did some things last year. You've got Tyler Fortenberry, uh, who came in from uh, a, a community college. So you've got some depth there. Mm-hmm. And you've got some pieces that um, excite fans. I mean, Eli Stowers and Diego Pavia were – a dynamic duo last year at New Mexico mm-hmm. State. Cole Spence, obviously, that you've chronicled in, in your feature with him, which was great, suffered a torn ACL. Thanks, Joey. <laughs> suffered a torn ACL uh, before the season even started last year. Didn't play at all. Uh, but I, I mean, he's six foot seven, extremely talented. So again, when you look at this room, what what should excite Vanderbilt fans, and, and what can they expect, especially with a lot of two tight end sets? Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of two tight end sets and. If the offense is going to be improved, it's going to be largely because of the tight end position. Cole Spence, I think, is a guy who would have made a difference last year and is going to make a difference this year. I think there's a real case for him being their best overall player throughout fall camp thus far. It seems like he makes four or five touchdown catches like every two days or something along those lines. He's quiet, but he's always involved. And that's kind of how I feel about Eli Stowers the last couple of practices, too. He started off, wasn't awesome, wasn't super involved. But as he started to learn the position a little bit more and has started to kind of get acquainted with their quarterback, he's been really good. I think he's one of the more talented guys on their offense. And Eli Stowers can be used in a lot of different ways, too. He's a guy who came up as a high school quarterback, was a four-star quarterback, and even played a little bit of quarterback in New Mexico State and some different sets. So they're both going to be guys who are focal points on their offense. And it would be negligence to not use more two tight end sets. I've been asked a lot if they're going to do it more. They've got to do it more, right? Like Otherwise, I don't know if their passing game is – going to be good enough and I think their tight ends open up a path to a much better passing game because we're going to talk about their receivers in a couple days and I don't think that room is good enough to hold up on its own they're able to kind of mix up their personnel a little bit more now though and they're going to have to only play probably two receivers at a time if they really want to and they're going to have two tight ends in the field that gives you a lot more weapons uh, on a play-to-play basis now and they're going to mix their personnel groups which obviously helps with the tight end position they've got a lot of depth there you mentioned Cole Spence I think is the one Eli Stowers is the two. I think they're both going to play a ton. Cam Jansen, Cam Johnson, though, guy can really get upfield, uh, big physical threat. Uh, and then Tyler Fortenberry, also, maybe their most athletic tight end. So a lot of guys who can really do a lot of things. And you haven't even mentioned Bryson Coleman, who's had a great camp, has been an all-star throughout fall camp, is yeah. a guy who seems to catch every 50-50 ball. And then uh, Manny Adebay, going to be a real special teams piece for them. I think he has... The record uh, it is old school for most kicks blocked. Uh, mm-hmm. I think he had seven throughout three or four years. So they got a lot in that room, and they got a lot of guys who have different skill sets. I think they're going to be a real resource, uh, especially with the quarterback competition ongoing and quarterbacks maybe having to make more shorter intermediate throws because of the offensive line. Their tight ends are going to open up so much for them. Yeah, you look at the two deep at tight end, and you kind of go, okay, that's, that's, that's not a bad room at all. Mm-hmm. Um, Eli Stowers is – we talk about the running back room. They don't have a guy or the guy. Eli Stowers is the guy in, uh, in, in the tight end room. But Cole Spence is not far behind him at I all. I have Cole Spence the in my one. Interesting. Uh, the only thing holding Cole Spence back is that he didn't play at all last year. Mm-hmm. Um, and any time you're coming back from a, an ACL tear – you know, you've got to be cautious. He's 100% right now, of course, but the the talent is, is through the roof. Which, and I think Cole Spence probably has a higher ceiling mm-hmm. than um, than Eli Stowers, and they're going to be used differently. Eli Stowers, obviously not six foot seven, but he's big big enough to to go make a play against a linebacker. Cole Spence in the red zone. I mean, yeah, you know, that, that that that's a threat there. And Eli Stowers might even play a little bit of quarterback, wildcat quarterback. Mm-hmm. I know Nate Johnson might probably take those snaps away from Eli and, and what he did last year, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if I mean like a real scenario is Eli Stowers throwing a touchdown to, to Cole Spence. It could uh, happen, yeah. Again, I don't know if that's a it's a bold take for me heading into the season. We, we saw mine last year, but um, Oh gosh, Billy, those were something else. That was that was bad. That was one of my early <laughs> stories too. But uh, either way, Joey, they needed a good tight end room this season, and I think they're going to get it. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And we're talking about two guys they didn't have at their disposal last year. Mm-hmm. I mean, the tight ends last year, you look at Cam Johnson. Who else? Like that, Justin you know, Ball Justin was Ball. fine. Yeah, Justin Logan Ball was Kyle serviceable. was okay. Logan Kyle was okay. But now you've got three guys that are pretty good. And, mm-hmm. and you know, I, I could see Cam Johnson being a guy that may not get – as many snaps as he might like, but if if Stowers or Spence goes down, you've got him right there. And then you've also got Fortenberry. I'm glad you mentioned Bryson Coleman as well. He's been really impressive uh, throughout fall camp, uh, mm-hmm. making one-handed catches and and uh, I think just overperforming what I expected to see from him in fall camp so far. So watch out for him as maybe a, I don't know if gadget guy is the right word, but uh, he's going to catch some balls this year, yeah. I think. And I just think you look at that, and that all of a sudden is five guys who you you can expect this room um, can can expect to catch patches from in the, in this room. So, Joey, I just look at it now. The downside might be how do they fit in the offense? You're not worried about that with Stowers, uh, but Spence, how does he acclimate to the offense? Seems like Cam, pretty good so far. Yeah, Cam Same Johnson, with Cam Johnson as well. You know, stylistically, is it everything these coaches want within this offense? We'll mm-hmm. see. They're going to have to block. Yeah. Right. Um, Stowers and Spence, you would you would assume will be ready to to, to block. Cam Johnson, Fortenberry is a primary blocking tight end anyway. But man, you look at this room and and I mean they 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 are above the receivers. I think that's something that you look at. You, you mentioned the weapons. The first weapon you mentioned is Eli Stowers, and then Cole Spence is is not far behind. So them being ahead of the receivers, obviously not ideal. But that tells you how, how good this room is and how deep they are. Yeah, I think Cole Spencer realized Stowers could be their leading receiver this year. And that's mm-hmm. not only a shot at the receivers, but also a testament to what they've got there. I think those guys are guys that are really going to help them. And they need Vanderbilt needs good tight ends. They need they need to be different on offense, and they need to be able to utilize their tight ends. Tim Beck seems pretty insistent on utilizing their tight ends. And I think when you look at Cole Spencer, Eli Stowers, and one of them, one of them having to be the two out of that group, that means you're in a pretty dang good spot because yeah. both of those guys have tremendously high ceilings, and I don't think we've uncovered either of their ceilings yet. I think especially Cole Spence at 6'7", with that frame, has a chance to play in the NFL one day, and I think Eli Stowers, with being so new to the position and already producing the way he has, probably has a chance as well if all things go well. So I really like what they have there, and Cam Johnson, I think, also a guy that I've been high on for a long time, not a guy to really write off yet. Tyler Fortenberry, a great athlete. Tim Beck seems insistent on being able to use all those guys and getting all those guys on the field, and he wants different personnel groups, but he also wants to utilize that position. I think that's a really encouraging thing for Vanderbilt fans, especially when you're concerned about the running backs, you're concerned about the receivers. To have a position with that kind of depth and also that kind of top end, I think is a huge positive for them that you didn't really look at on the offense outside of maybe the receiver room last year. And obviously that didn't work out the way we thought it would. Yeah, a, a big physical sure-handed tight end can be a quarterback's best friend. Right. And I mean, you ask any quarterback, that's the one thing I think they would like. I mean, I've got to have that. I've got to have a safety valve. You see a lot of times those eight to 10 yard pop passes that go for 15 or 20. And I, I can, I, I, I mean, you saw that with Eli Stowers last year. Mm-hmm. Cole Spence is a guy that can maybe even do a little bit more than that mm-hmm. um, and, and really utilize his skill set. You can also see that from Cam Johnson, who, you know, honestly looks at times like a receiver. He's, he's mm-hmm. bulked up more, and I think he needed to do that. But mm-hmm. with Cam Johnson as your third guy, that, that's a pretty good room. And by the way, you lost your tight ends coach in Justin Lustig, mm-hmm. um, if, if I'm, if I'm yeah. correct there, uh, to, to Penn State. So even losing your position coach, you're able to keep all those guys in the room. You add Eli Stowers and just to have a safety valve. Mm-hmm. Like it's not every year Vanderbilt has a tight end group like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, last year they certainly didn't. I think you go back two years ago when you had Bresnahan and Schoenwald. Got, but, I mean, those two guys were not NFL-type prospects. Yeah. And These guys have way higher ceilings. Yeah, way higher ceilings, and they are weapons. I don't know that you looked at Bresnahan and Schoenwald as – legit weapons that you know they made some <laughs> president had a really dynamic touchdown actually mm-hmm. a couple of years ago and showing Walt obviously more of a, a blocking guy but i mean this room is is one of the better tight end rooms i've seen at vanderbilt uh, mm-hmm. in, in, a, in a really long time mm-hmm. and even when franklin was here a lot of them were primary block blocker type guys mm-hmm. that would uh, would catch here or there these guys are going to be weapons they're going to be looked at and thrown at consistently and, you know, I, I think, again, you don't want that to be the case. All the, like, you don't want to have to rely on them mm-hmm. too much. But they're going to have to this year. Yeah. And I, if you're Vanderbilt, you, you look at that as a positive. Yeah, and it gives them an out pitch. And I think Tim Beck needed an out pitch in year one as the offensive coordinator. Now, if the receivers aren't 
creating separation if the quarterbacks are struggling. You've got an out pitch, and you've got two guys at the tight end position who can actually make plays. I just – what I come out of this thinking is not that Cole Spencer realized ours is, like, significantly better than the other. I think of how this is even a debate. In past years, one of those guys would have been far and away the best tight end of their room and would have been probably their leading receiver. They've got two guys who, now who we debate as their best tight end, and those guys each could be their most – productive offensive player. I think that's a huge sign for them. And uh, Billy, I'm going to ride the Cole Spence train in the preseason. You can take Eli Stowers one, Stowers. but I think they can both be really productive yeah, players for them. That's the bottom line. Spence and Stowers are, are, are the dudes in the tight end room this year and are going to be relied on. But don't forget about Cam Johnson, Fortenberry. Oh, and by the way, Bryson Coleman, who has looked really good uh, as just a freshman. So uh, not only right now this season is this a good tight end room, but I think they're set up, they're built for the future of this program to have good tight ends consistently. And no surprise, tight end U um, has mm -hmm. been here on campus, and I think that has helped as mm -hmm. well. And, and that's actually a good story idea there, Joe. Yeah, I like that, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for uh, my praise earlier. I like. I appreciate that. I, got you. I needed some of that. I got you. But anyway, we, we got you guys with uh, offensive uh, position previews. We're, we'll get we'll get to defense eventually. Uh, but that's uh, that's it for the tight ends. A great room and uh, one of the better ones on the team. Maybe the best room on the team. We'll see. That's Joey Dwyer. I'm Billy Derrick. Thanks for tuning in to another VandySports.com podcast.